Tonight, there is growing evidence that Russia is using WikiLeaks as a delivery vehicle for hacked emails and other information. U.S. officials with knowledge of the investigation tell CNN. The method of the disclosures, quote, suggest Moscow has at least provided the information or is possibly directly responsible for the leak, said one U.S. official. Asked about possible ties between WikiLeaks and Russia, the director of the CIA, John Brennan, told CNN. I think that the government has announced uh, there are concerns that uh, there are some efforts to try to uh, interfere in the electoral process. CNN attempted to reach WikiLeaks for comment but received no response. WikiLeaks has previously denied any connection to or cooperation with Russia. Today, reports that Russia's state-backed RussiaToday.com tweeted and published a story on the latest stolen emails of Clinton campaign manager John Podesta before WikiLeaks posted them. WikiLeaks quickly responded on Twitter saying, quote, no, they didn't. The release was visible to anyone looking at the WikiLeaks site well before our first tweet. Russia is dismissing accusations outright that they are behind the hacks on Democratic Party officials or U.S. state voting systems. The White House says it is now planning a, quote, proportional response, a response that Russia is seemingly dismissing. If they decided to do something, let them do it. But to say that Russia is interfering in the United States domestic matters uh, is ridiculous. So far, more than 20 states have experienced attempted hacks on their voter databases. But U.S. officials are emphasizing that the U.S. voting system is strong enough and decentralized enough to prevent hackers from affecting the election's outcome. The electoral infrastructure is very diversified because it is you know, state-owned and operated. And so the, uh, the ability of foreign actors to get into the system and try to do something that is going to have of nationwide sort of implications is, is very, very um, remote. U.S. intelligence is still investigating the degree of the connection between Russia and WikiLeaks, and it has not reached the level of confidence it has in its assessment that Russia is behind the hacks themselves.